Lovely verb. Oh, that's too much. Oh, too much. I'm yeah, 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 yeah. Right there is good. Okay. Right there is good, yeah. Right there is baby, 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 baby. You got to let me go. You gotta let me go. Let go. Let me go. Let go. You gotta let me go. Let go. You gotta let me go. Let go. Let me go. Go. Let me go. Let me go. This is the hard work you gotta put in, guys. You wanna do a track, songs, whether it's rhythm and blues, dance, jazz, hip hop. You gotta work, man. This is work. How you doing? This is Troy Sweeney from Say Word TV, and we're here with recording artist, artist Imori. How are you today? What's up, man? How y'all? You good? <laughs> How long you been in the industry? Wow, mm, I've been in the industry now for maybe about, maybe about 10 years, I've been in the industry maybe. Um, so who are some of the artists that you work with? Wow, I work with a couple of artists. Um, um, I started out kind of like singing background, doing background for artists I've like Tony Terry, uh, for some dance artists as well, R&B artists. I did some stuff for this girl named Lachey, who was actually on Warner Brothers Records, a kind of hip hop uh, R&B artist, uh, singing background and kind of like also doing some uh, some arrangements and stuff like that. And it's cool because you learn how to just go in and, and do your own project. When it's time to do your own project, you go in and you you get your project done. So yeah, I've been blessed to kind of work with some really great people and some really good musicians and. So it's been cool. I love the industry. I just love this industry. This is my industry. Um, is this what you always wanted to do, or you wanted to do something else when you were younger? I mean, <laughs> are you fulfilling your lifelong dream? Yeah, I mean, it's always been a part of me. Um, it's just, it's just always been in me. But it took me a minute to kind of, you know, because I'm a Brooklyn kid, and I, I kind of was out there wilding out for a little while, and, and then I. You know, but God pushes things in your way, and He's just, just like, this is for you. Music was always something that just came naturally to me, so I had to just figure out where I wanted to go with it, because it's a hard business, and you know, you know, it's all good. But I just decided, I made a conscious decision, maybe like eight or nine years ago, to really, really pursue it as a, you know, as a career. And it, I mean, it's been blessing me, you know, and it, it, it fulfills every part of, you know, my being and my life. And I'm just lucky to be a part of it, you know what I'm saying? What are some of the obstacles that you came across in the industry and what are the good things about the industry? Man, it's just, you know, the industry can be hard on you, especially when it comes to just kind of like putting your own creative stamp out there because people sometimes want to pigeonhole you and put you in a box. And that's kind of hard. That's that's the hard part about it when they just want to put put you in that box and you can't be as creative as you would like to be. The best part about it is that you get to to live and do the, do something that you love to do and and actually kind of get paid for it. You know, you get paid to do what you love and you get paid because I love to travel and I love to meet new people and and just you know and just bring that joy out of people. I just love joy and I think in the world that's what music and art brings joy to people and that's what it's about and that's that's where I'm. I'm at with it, you know? What exactly do you like the most? Do you like the studio work? Do you like the performing? The traveling? I mean, mm -hmm. I see you in the studio here. I mean, yeah, the studio, the studio, the studio is good. The studio is good because you get to come in and be that creative soul when you're in the studio. But, you know, I love live performing. Live performance is probably my favorite because it just you get to connect with people that's right there. You get that energy. You get that 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 one on one energy. You know, with with the people that's that's in there. Because when you get that, there's nothing else like that. And especially the energy from like if you're doing a live band situation or you're doing with people. It's just pure energy. It's energy is passed back and forth between between solid mass and you know. So that's. There's nothing like that energy, just getting out there and just working and just being out there. And there's nothing like that live. I love recording, but my favorite, I, I would say, is live. Give the kids some type of direction in 
where exactly should they start if they want to pursue music? Like, you're a singer. How did you start? I mean, did you start in the studio? Did you meet people? Nah, I mean, meeting start? people, going out. You got to get a... Because it's all about securing relationships with different type of people. And if you're a singer, if you're a songwriter, you got to get out there and get with the people who are doing what you're doing. You can't sit back and, and just think somebody's going to discover you because it doesn't work like that. You got to get out there. If you're a singer, you need to get out there and, and do as many performances as you can. Try to open mics uh, that's going around in the city. Try to get into some programs. Uh, they have different like choir things going on around in the city. You know, ASCAP, which is a music uh, publishing company, you need because they have different programs and classes going on in there that tells you how to, to meet with people and, and get to experience different types of situations where you can be in the surroundings of your peers because you need to get into a surrounding of your peers, people who are doing what you're doing so you can network because it's all about networking. You have to get out there and network. It's a hustle. Now, how can people get in contact with you? Do you have a web page or Oh, for sure. Uh, you definitely, you can reach me at uh, my MySpace, which is uh, www.myspace.com slash ImoriMT. Again, that's www.myspace.com slash E-M-O-R-Y-M-T, ImoriMT. And you can go there and you can and you can see me there. You can see my pictures where I've been all over the world and, and hear some of my music. And you can also hit me up too at uh, uh, soulseeker1104 at yahoo.com. Again, that's soulseeker, S-O-U-L-S-E-E-K-E-R-1104, my birthday. And we got Barack over here uh, at yahoo.com. Alright, so we yeah. want to thank you for coming out. We wish you the best sure, of luck. Man. But before we go, sure. give us a little taste of what we can expect from you. Wow. A touch of rain in the sunshine makes the flowers grow into a lovely smile that's blooming. And it's so clear to me, you're my dream come true. There's no way that I'll be losing. And golden lady, golden lady, I like to go there. Thank you, man. Enjoy You're welcome, day. man. Peace out, y'all. All right. Thank you.